What's going on, guys? Welcome back to The Commodity. I'm Fez, and today we're taking a look at the GAN, GAN Gold Service Review, Adelaide to Darwin, Cabin and Excursions, What to Expect. Now, this was suggested to me in my Discord by Dutchie Vandigan. Vandigan? Yeah, Dutchie Vandigan. Uh, a train trip to the middle of Australia. Um, so he already knows that I tried to do a reaction uh, to another video. Unfortunately, it didn't go through. I posted on the Discord saying that it didn't go through. So um, I did try, I promise. Uh, they just didn't like the idea of people using their content, which kind of upsets me a little bit. But I've had time to get over it. Uh <laughs> But if you want to suggest any videos, link to the Discord will be down in the description. If you want to help me get to Australia, I don't even have my phone on me. Let's see here. Let's see where we're at. Uh, let's see here. We are currently at $1,575 uh, raised for me to go to Australia. This is actually the longest term, uh, time uh, between donations. Um Link to the GoFundMe will be down in the description. That's to help me get to Australia so I can make some amazing content, of which we all know I'm, I'm capable of. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, it is for me to get there to explore, adventure, and get to see the beautiful country of Australia uh, and to actually make content. So link to that will be down in the description. And like, comment, subscribe. It'll get this video out to more people. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. G'day, my name is Adam from Top Oz Tours and Travel Ideas. Thank you for dropping by to watch the latest episode of our YouTube travel series. I know there are a lot of videos out there that you could choose to watch and I appreciate that you've decided to watch one of ours. We do have something really special for you in this episode. It's a 3,000 kilometer journey, that's right, all the way from the South Australian capital, Adelaide, up to the capital of the Northern Territory, Darwin, on board the incredible GAN rail service. Wow, what an extraordinary travel experience this is. I absolutely loved it. Now, in this video, we're gonna take you on board and inside the gold service cabins. We're gonna show you the restaurant car, the lounge, uh, the meals. We're also gonna take you on some of the off-train experiences, which are all included in the cost of your fare. One that really struck me was the Nipmaluk Gorge cruise just outside Catherine hands down one of the most beautiful spots in the entire country. It is worth doing this trip on the GAN for that experience alone. Now, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us get the word out there. And if you have traveled on the GAN or you have a question, the leave game. a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome on board the amazing GAN. Named in honour of the pioneering Afghan Camelliers, who forged a permanent trail through the Red Centre in the 1800s, the GAN has been traversing the outback for close to a century. And it's not until you do this journey that you realise just how vast this country of ours is, and what an engineering marvel the GAN has proven to be. There's a lot of ground to cover, but before we make tracks, take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing travel ideas. We're starting our three-day trip on the GAN in Adelaide, which is packed with historic and cultural highlights, great places to eat, and plenty of attractions. On board the GAN, we settle into our comfortable Gold Service Twin Cabin. At night, the three-seat lounge converts to upper and lower single berths. 
The cabin has a small ensuite bathroom complete with a shower and amenities. Each Gold Service car is located in close proximity to an Outback Explorer lounge, all of which feature comfortable seating and large picture windows. Beer, Australian wines and standard spirits are all included in the cost of your fare. Meals are served in the Gans Queen Adelaide restaurant cars, which transport guests back to the golden age of rail travel. Crisp linen, attentive service and an impressive a la carte menu make every meal amazing. And if you're celebrating something special, the GAN will go that extra step to make it even more memorable. It's an early start for our first off-train experience, pre-sunrise in fact, in the remote South Australian town of Marla. A bonfire takes the chill off and the bacon and egg rolls go down a treat as we watch the sun rise outback style. 500 kilometres further on and across the border with the NT, we arrive in the outback city of Alice Springs. There's no town like Alice, and guests can choose to do one of three included off-train excursions. The first is a visit to the Alice Springs Telegraph Station and Royal Flying Doctor Service Tourist Facility, which chronicles the service's vital work in Outback Oz. That's actually really cool, um, a flying doctor service. Uh, I met a guy... Uh, it's probably been like five years and that's what he did. He, uh, but not within one country. He flew, uh, I was, I was in college and he flew to the States to pick somebody up that was from, oh, I forgot where, somewhere in Europe. And he was in the country just on vacation and something had happened and he had to go to the hospital. He was at the hospital being treated, but then, he needed to get back home. So they flew out a flight doctor and then they're going to fly. And he takes like a special plane that has all the medical equipment in it. And he has to fly back with the, the, the client or whatever. Um, no, the, he was from the middle East and he was flying back with his, the client back to the middle East somewhere to make sure that he's being taken care of all the way back. So it's basically a mobile hospital. I thought that was crazy. I was like, that seems like a ton of money. And I mean, he, he said that, yeah, it, it's privately paid for. So the guy had a ton of money, but I thought that was really cool. And it's really cool that you have something like this. I don't know if we do anything like this. I know we do helicopters, but I don't know if we do any planes or anything like that. That's a great question. Curious. It may look like a harsh environment, but the surrounding desert is teeming with life. To learn more, guests can choose to visit the Alice Springs Desert Park, which features several different wildlife zones, including the Nocturnal House. Having visited all these attractions while filming a previous video, we opt to do the Simpsons Gap Discovery Walk, a four kilometer trek, which requires a good level of fitness. So the nocturnal house, is it like a flip-flopped house? Like where it, during the day they have it all turned on so that the animals will sleep and then, uh, well, I guess that would be the same thing. No, no, vice versa. At night, they have the lights on so that the animals are sleeping. During the day, they have all the lights out so the animals will be out so people can see it. Does that make sense? Because they're nocturnal.
Simpsons Gap has a strong Indigenous significance and immersing ourselves in the beauty of this outback landscape is a sublime experience. Back on board the GAN, we continue heading north to the town of Catherine and world-renowned Nipmaluk Gorge. This epic natural landscape is best experienced on a cruise along the Catherine River with Nipmaluk Tours. And it's an included off-train experience with the GAN. Once known as Catherine Gorge, Nipmaluk is actually a series of 13 gorges and this Nit Nit Dreaming Two Gorge Tour takes in spectacular gorges 1 and 2 with a short 400 metre walk in between. The cruise includes commentary from our Indigenous guide on the significance of the gorge to the traditional owners, the Jawan people. We pause in Gorge 2 at the point believed to be inhabited by the Rainbow Serpent. Rainbow serpents, is that just a type of snake or is that something else? The final 300 kilometres from Catherine to Darwin flies by and we're soon disembarking in this relaxed and friendly city. Oh, wow. Like Adelaide, Darwin has plenty to offer visitors and you could easily fill a two or three day stay after your GAN trip. It's a fitting end to our Outback Rail Adventure. For more ideas for great things to see and do across Australia, just visit our website. Interesting. Uh, that seems actually really cool. Um, the I, I think the uh, the animals are probably the primary thing for me on something like this. I really, really like it. Uh, but guys, link to the Discord if you want to suggest other videos like this. Link to the Discord will be down in the description. Link to the GoFundMe will be down in the description if you want to help me get to Australia. And if you want to help me get this video out to more people, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. You have to comment. That's not an actual button. Um, but until next time, peace.